Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to speedrun the debot in terms of efficiency in the early game. With efficiency, I mean how to get more points, more adaptal energy possible at the beginning. Because more adaptal energy you have, more points, um, real currency you will get for a maximum of 30 per hour. And the more currency you can get means more things you can buy from the shop. Also for those missions, uh, this one is to get uh, obtain 5000 realm currency, so higher is your level, more currency you can get uh, per hour. First thing I want to say is uh, how to level up your uh, trust rank with the bird. It's uh, making uh, um, furniture, but not randomly making them, but you have to craft those furniture with the trust symbol in the corner. The first time you make every furniture with that symbol, so basically when you make a furniture for the first time and you complete it, it will give you EXP, um, trust EXP, so you can increase your trust level. So every time you have that, uh, have that build priority. And remember to use the adapt adaptal speed, don't save them, use, uh, just use them in the early game. And because you can buy 5 speed pot potions every day from the um, Ram Depot or furnishings, I already bought them, so they are at the bottom, sold out. But every day you can buy five of them, so remember to buy these as well. Now, another thing is... When you visit a friend, if the friend is crafting, having a creation in queue, if you visit them, then you can click on their bird, their fox, the adapter, and you can increase the speed for a maximum of four hours. Remember that you don't have to ask tons of friends to help you to speed your creation. Because one friend, if they speed up you, they will speed up every creation in queue for 4 hours. For, for, so for the maximum uh, speed up time. For example, I built, I set those three in the queue as uh, crafting. And then my friend visited me um, just a few minutes ago. And for all the three... Instead of 14 hours, they become 10 hours. So you only need one friend. Now, now how to get uh, a lot of uh, adaptal energy in the early game is uh, just craft this type of uh, furniture. Pine folding screen, billowing sail. Why this one? Because it is, this is a 4 star furniture. Every 4 star will give you 90 adaptal energy. And let me find my room. Uh... No, this side. Okay, that room. This is my normal room. Uh, I just uh, randomly set it. It's not that uh, good look. Yeah, it's not that amazing. But in this room, basically, you can see I put uh, many of them. There's no limit for. Yeah, the load. If the load is red, this means you can't put anything anymore. But uh, if it's not red, yeah. Inside the house, craft many of those uh, pine folding screen possible, and just put them like this. For example, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Those furnitures already gave me 9, uh, no, 11 is uh, 990 Adepto Energy, Realm Energy. Those are just free or because I crafted them crafted them for the first time for the EXP, trust the EXP. Same here, it's just, it's just a small kitchen without anything special. Second floor, I have nothing, basically, yeah, nothing, nothing of nothing. So, in short, use all your currency to buy speed up potions and uh, spend them to buy some um, blueprint. But uh, when you have uh, when you have the crafting queue free, just put the that uh, that uh, that furniture in the queue and craft many of them possible to increase your realm energy so you can get uh, more points. Just like me, I am the day 2 and I am already almost 8000. And with 8000 I can go to the exquisite, uh, exquisite so I can have 22 coins per hour instead of 20. And slowly slowly I will um, fill that room with all that type of furniture so yeah, I guess in one week, around one week I can reach uh, sturdily or maybe luxury. Now, we, now you will say, mm, yeah, this is only a playstyle for who wants to rush uh, the level, uh, adaptal energy, so increasing your elegant level. 
because yeah, to craft uh, to increase the trust rank, uh, it depends on if you have uh, extra blueprint or not. In fact, uh, increasing your adaptor energy, you will increase the elegance. Increase the elegance, you will get more coins. Having more coins means you can buy more blueprints because um, uh, um, the seller, not the furnishing, because if they if you buy these, they want to give you trust the XP. So try buy the blueprint. You can see the fox is selling a lot of blueprints, but their cost is pretty high. This has a good side and bad side. The good side is that you can farm currency really quick, but the bad side is, um, yeah, you don't, you can't craft uh, those furnitures you want, uh, so you can make your island looking good. Uh, but uh, yeah, for me is uh, for me is a rush currency to buy all the blueprints and all the stuff he is selling. Finishing all missions, and then when I will unlock uh, all the three type of realm style, so all the three realm, then uh, I will uh, slowly, slowly crafting the furnitures I want uh, to make the island, uh, the realm looks better than this. Uh, and in my opinion, this is a really good strategy because in early game you will get more tokens, uh, more currency, respect to others, uh, so you can unlock the realm quickly. Unlocking your realm quickly, you have three islands that producing currency, so yeah, you will get more currency, so you can buy more blueprints, producing more and more furnitures. I don't know if I explained this well, I'm trying my best to explain, but uh, yeah, in short is this. Anyways, yeah, if you like me, you can spend a bit of your time trying to make uh, something good with those uh, free furnitures, just like this. I don't know if you like this building. I spent one hour building this. For me, it's already a good goal. Yeah, I guess I did a good job. I hope so. I mean, yeah. It doesn't look that bad, right? I just stacked some of... Uh, how you call that? Some of the rocks. Then I... Yeah, put the house here. More rocks to stack. Uh, yeah, this type of building. Another tip is uh, I retreated all those uh, trees, which is a uh, tank cost. Like you can see, if I retreat this one, I put this right here. This one will give me 10 of the full uh, adaptable energy. But if I kept that rock, the rock gives me 20. And they take the same place in the load. Not in, don't look in the type, it, uh, it's in the load. So yeah. No, not this one. So yeah, this is the guide on how to speed up your progress really quick and what to do in early game, in my opinion. Also, instead, if you like, you don't have many mats to craft that type of furniture because it costs 12 of the pine wood, some fabric, and the red dye. Okay, those three mats are really easy to find. The Fabric just cost you the sick flower. I made a guide about it, so you can check it as well. Uh, Valberry is really easy to find, or you can use the Sansetia. Okay, the carrot is not that common, but those two are really common, Sansetia and Valberry. For me, because uh, I still have many of the space inside the house, because uh, the load system, the load uh, amount, is uh, not, not the same for outside and inside the house. For outside is already full because I put a, really a lot of things. Huh? But inside my house, uh, I didn't put anything basically. So I want to uh, fill my the inside first. But uh, if you don't have and if you don't want, uh, because you want to make inside the, uh, uh, at least your inside the house uh, cool, then you can craft this one. The stone lion outside. Because stone lion is easier and consumes only an iron chunk. Or any any purple, any 4 star furniture to be honest, depending on which mat you have uh, more. Don't build those because those gives a few and it takes uh, more load. I mean the same amount of load. So yeah, this one is a, f is a free pl blueprint when you get the episode 3 of the challenge. Is this one, place 3 different furnishing sets. So you can craft um, instead of this, uh, instead of those um, Instead of those pine uh, folding screen, then you can make a stone lion statue. Just uh, retreat uh, all those buildings you don't need, like uh, those houses, uh, those, 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 and put, uh, yeah, and fill the outside with the stone lion. 
Maybe I will do that. So this realm, I will use it just to make the points. Because the load like, is a strange system, because the game didn't explain it well on how the load works. But from what I understood, is basically, you put this, right? This consume load. This consume load as well. This consume load as well. Also, if you're asking me, does the set gives you more realm energy, adaptive energy? The answer is no. Because this one gives me 150, right? This one gives me 60. 60, 30. Do I have a small calculation? 20? No. 60 plus 60, 120. 120 plus 30, 150 is the same amount. So the furniture set is just to give you a better look of it and maybe consumes less load instead of putting three type of the furniture. Because if you put those three type, it will cost three load. But if you put one furniture set, it will cost one load. Maybe is that the meaning? I don't know. Must try. Like I can, I can, I can do a small trying now. So I need this one. This one, uh, which other things I need? Uh, okay, the book. Uh, the book is here. Here we go. So I took uh, three things, right? And now the load is uh, yellow. Let me think uh, if I put this one here. I put another one here. Now it's red. I can put another one, yes. Now it's red again. Okay, I can't. Now it's uh, full, right? If I retreat this one, so I have one load. Can I put this? No. Okay, this doesn't work. If I retreat the two... Yeah, no, no. It consumed the same. Uh, okay, my, my meat is, uh, has got... Uh, sweated. So that's all, guys. Um, hope this video helped you to get an uh, idea on what to do in early game of your teapot adventure. Thanks for watching. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.